I'm Andrea Smith with Mashable and I'm here with Jeremy Kempel from Blossom Coffees and we are here to answer the question that I've always wanted to find out, what makes a perfect cup of coffee? Uh, a perfect cup, cup of coffee starts with perfect ingredients. So you have to have really high quality beans and high quality water. But that's not the full story. You also have to brew it perfectly. So every coffee bean requires a slightly different temperature to extract properly. For the real flavors to be expressed fully, you need to dial in that temperature just right. Okay, and so what you have here is a commercial coffee maker mm -hmm. that really picks up that right temperature? Correct. So okay. this is our Dev2 prototype coffee machine. This machine can dial in temperature extremely precisely. So regardless of what beans you put in there, you can make it brew just right. And how does it know what kind of beans are in there? Our production version is going to have a camera and internet connectivity. So when you buy a bag of coffee beans, uh, coffee roasters who are working with us will put a QR code on that bag you can scan it on the machine and it downloads that perfect set of brew parameters. That is awesome. Connected coffee. <laughs> yeah. What makes this so much better and worth buying every morning? You can get the coffee brewed exactly right every single time. You put your coffee directly in there. We've got 20.5 grams of coffee at a grind that's similar to what you would use for a pour over coffee. And you just put that directly in here and you call out your brew recipe. And so I found these beans do really well with 195 degrees Fahrenheit eight ounces of water, and a 70 second brew duration. And the machine would know that if it had the QR code scanner yeah. on it. Okay. Correct. Yeah, I could just say, say brew my high wire coffee. Okay. And it'll just go. I just uh, select all those parameters and hit go. It stores those parameters inside the machine and begins executing the brew cycle. And so it's doing two things right now. Uh, the pump you hear is it's, it's bringing water from the reservoir into the boiler and it's heating that exact volume of water to the specified 195 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. The other thing it's doing that's really cool is we have electrical heating elements here in the brew group that are bringing this whole assembly also to that perfect 195 degrees Fahrenheit. And this way you take 195 water and put it into a 195 brew group and you get 195 coffee. And do you brew individual cups at a time or can you make a pot of coffee? We're focused on brewing one cup at a time for now. There's nothing quite like having that perfectly fresh cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's actually kind of my goal to convert people from cream and sugar to black coffee drinkers. And the hallmark of a really well roasted coffee and a well prepared coffee is it tastes good from, from being hot to being cold and you can drink it at room temperature, almost room temperature, and it still tastes great. So what I really want to do is get the other people in the newsroom to taste this because they've been dying to taste it. And uh, we'll give it a go. We've brewed the same coffee with two different brew recipes. The only change was a five degree difference in temperature. Uh, we brewed one set at 195 degrees Fahrenheit with 8 ounces of water and 20.5 grams of coffee for 70 seconds. And the next cup we brewed at 200 degrees Fahrenheit with the same amount of coffee, water, grind size, stirring, and brew duration. And so I've put these coffees into the cups, and two of the cups are the same, and one of the cups is different. You'll now just take a sip of each and uh, see if you can identify the cup that's not the same as the other two. <laughs> I'm going to say that the second one. So this one has no mark on the bottom. And these other two both have marks. OK. And so you selected the coffee that was brewed at 195 degrees Fahrenheit. And these other two were both brewed at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And so you have just chosen the cup that was different. OK. So congrats. Thank you. As you did your cup cupping challenge, um, how did you, like, where, how were you able to tell the difference between the three? Well, the one that was different was the second one I tasted, and definitely the, the middle one has that citrusy uh, brightness that, um, that I prefer in, in, a, in a coffee, so that's kind of what I fixated on, hmm. and um, that, was, that was what I, I didn't notice in the final tasting, which is how I was able to identify it. Okay, so now we know what it takes to make the perfect cup of coffee, temperature, a lot of money, but you can definitely try one of these coffees at a local cafe. They're going to be coming into cafes. And uh, Jeremy Kempel, it was really great having you show us how to brew a perfect cup of coffee. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here. All right. Thank you. For Mashable, I'm Andrea Smith. <laughs>